Hey guys, this is Isaac with the Moral War family, I'm doing a recap of Thieves, a uh, 200th war win, a ranged war against the Swarm, see 8180, uh, got pretty close at the end, we had a huge lead early on, smashed out the Nines, with plenty of hits left, they didn't clear ours, so um, we got one town and triple a year, uh, dip, they got two, but couldn't clear the Nines, so uh, that's what happens, Hustle is actually we have a bit of history. Hostel's now with us. Um, he used to be uh, the the leader or co-leader or something in War 101 when um, thieves like the Immoral Family first merged with uh, 101. So a bit of history there. And then he left. Uh, uh, I don't know, like a month, a week ago. No, not a week ago, like some time ago. Now he's back. Um, he came back after this war. So six back there, fresh six back uh, by Hustle. So nice having you back with us. Uh, stats. Got one more of the triples. Ten on nine wise, completely outclassed them. Oh no, good try, swarm. Six packs we got. Uh, Dave the Brave, aka Dr. Six Pack. Fear the Rabbit. Uh, Go, fresh six. Cavern. A couple of really close ones. Oh, uh, that's it. Uh, no, town or ten on town or ten triples this war, so I'm just gonna leave it and do all nine instead. And start with Aiden or Waffles. Uh, double jump, Yavaho. Uh, Aiden almost six packed, but he, uh, he swag dicked before the raid was over in the second raid. <laughs> And ran out of time. So good patience there on the Wizzies, waiting for them to clear out not only the trash ring but the first layer of defenses before war banging in. Valk's coming, King Queen, the usual shit. Poison the CC, uh, easy double jump to get the Queen. So he negated double giant bombs there. They were uh, that cannon and whatever that building was in the core. But that jump connected the king and Valks into that Tesla compartment. Completely negated that as well. Yeah, dirty 30s uh, do way too much work. His hogs are basically untouched. He does burn a heal at the end, which he could have swagged. I guess he learned his lesson off of that one. <laughs> a nice attack, Aiden. King still up at basically full health. Valk, Sogs, everything up. Nice hit. Guess he got Dave the Brave, aka okay, Doctor. I'm doing Govaho again. I just one jump. He does a bit of the old school um, Queen Golem walk. Uh, got minions on the left hand side. The Queen Golem walk, uh, something I really don't see much of nowadays, but it still works really well when you want uh, the Queen to move to the core, but you know you can get free defenses. The Golem does get wasted there, but um, worth it. Killed that entire compartment, besides the sweeper, and even extracted that expo. So one jump, we'll get him the Queen. He's gonna make the mistake of putting his Queen way too far inwards, so she jumped at the core. And now he's got an extra hit with the Hogs. And usually, double jump Gavai, you have to burn both in your Valks. So good shit there. The hogs on the right side, where everyone's distracted. Again, 30-30 heroes do so much. Stay alive. Way too long. Till the last heal. Uh, probably should have waited because he gets bacon at the end but too late the base completely wrecked he's got so many Valks left so excellent attack and also on the six pack he's got fear the rabbit uh, someone else six packs uh, using shadow the loon both might attack shadow the loon this war uh, really strong stuff 
free wizard on that mortar. Nothing was in range. Pretty clever. So he's gonna break in. And this space is split into two. Completely split into two. Uh, King will deal with the CC there. And one jump will bridge back to the core. The two column push um, with enough firepower will easily get two air defenses at the Queen and the rest is straight Laloon. I think this guy has a grounded expo as well, so it makes it even easier. Uh, false ability, get that out of the way so he's not having to focus on it later. And then straight up Laloon. Pretty straightforward stuff, but a lot of their bases were susceptible to this style of attack. And with Swag's out to haste at the end as well. Uh, amazing raid. <laughs> Basically a full spell slot Swag. Next is Gah. I really like this raid. Huge push with the kill squad. So this is pretty much a max attack. Uh, but with the jumps and a VQ. Three goal and push, you want to get three air defenses with that. Big spread on the goalies as well, but he's got plenty of whiz. He's only got 11 loons. But he doesn't need them. So more whizzies, of course, when you want to invest something so big in the push. Golem on the right is basically broken, but... Got the king in. Some wizards, those wizards are absolutely necessary. So that jump, right? He's going to get one defense already down. Second will go down. And a third when the queen jumps the wall. So massive wish that he was really off on his heel. His heel got nothing in it. Uh, but King takes a little bit of it. That Queen there positioned just perfectly, so she'll jump the wall and engage. Perfect right there. Raiders are up. Kills her. I think this was... I don't know if this was clip or fresh, I don't know, but... Uh, that wizard clutches that air defense out. It goes down. And the rest of the base is uh, destroyed. So nice attack guard again swag in two spell slots. No oh, sorry, yeah, two spell slots. So one normal spell. Good shit, that was a massive push. Queen even still up. Alright, next you got one piece. Quite like this raid. The EQ go Vaho. And he swags a heal. So EQ back in again. He's coming straight to the Royals compartment. Uh, no poison for them, so that golem is going to get shredded. But he's immediately putting everything in. Uh, no, no point waiting. If he had waited, that golem would have been shredded already. CC Valks. So he's going to heal over that golem explosion. But again, there's not much DPS in the core. Notice all the DPS is stacked on the outside. Uh, look at that core, just literally a Tesla Expo, like, <laughs> under rage, they shred that. So immediately with the hogs, good synergy at the same time while the Valks are tanking. That Queen's gonna jump in there and clear that compartment. Honestly, this raid, beautiful synergy, everything is just working so well together. Absolutely perfect. I loved it. Yeah, good shit, bro. Both heroes on full health as well, I mean, god, this is really beautiful. Swag the heal as well. The last thing I'm going to show is mine. Shadow the loot. Came from the side. She brought a heal for mine. Uh, 
Uh, so a pretty long push there, and I wanted to deal with those wizard towers. Yeah, and those necessary wizards, they need to be backing up your kill squad. Jump goes in, that wizard there helping clear out those wizard towers. A bit of a kill zone in there, but golems tank it all. Uh, lucky for me there, my king does jump out and grab the queen instead. Poison her, slow DPS, because the enemy golem CC doesn't need poisoning. Uh, but then notice the skellies, man. Those skellies drew everyone the wrong way. And even my king went there, so I <laughs> decided to heal, so I thought my king would kill. Uh, air defense, but no. Fucking golems. AI is fucking retarded. Um, but those barbs, man. Healing those barbs, they actually take the air defense out for me, so really clutch. And from there, straight Laloon. He's even got a grand expo. This was pretty easy. You want these bases where you'd think conventionally. Uh, unable to be Laloon, nah, man. Basically, anything can be Laloon. You just need to get what you want. So, plenty of pops. Base finished. Basically the point of this is just anywhere where you can see you can enter and grab two red defenses and the queen. Hell even one and the queen uh, with uh, two golems and one golem respectively. The rest of the base can be the loon, doesn't matter what it is. Test farm the core, bring a heal. Uh, let's see all good shit uh, to the swarm. Excellent win again for thieves. We're on like 12 war win streak here. Um, win 200. So if you want to apply, uh, go ahead www.moralwarfamily.com and get in on the action. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content by us. Have a good one.